Well, good morning, ladies and gents. So if you guys didn't see the last episode yet, we got uh, really, really rich. Like, so super rich. And we got ourselves a ton of blocks. So I think we got to build something today. And do you guys remember these folks? I promised I would come back for these fools. And today is that day. I'm making you guys a new home. Now, guys, I'm actually going to be building these guys a literal gigantic castle right over there. As you can see, I've started clearing some land for this. But there's one little problem. Of course, I have a lot of deep slate and stone, but I do want some dark oak wood, some black stone, and some white concrete for this build as well. So we got to go grab those materials real quick. Now, I don't really know where a dark oak forest is, so I'm going to have to find one. But hopefully, I don't have to travel too far. I probably should grab some shulkers really quickly so I can hold all of these materials, though. Oh, I just need to take a look at this again. Oh my goodness, look at all this loot. I, I'm actually really proud of that. These little axolotl friends are going to be moving into the castle as well. All right, I'm going to grab some shulkers and uh, we'll be on our way. Oh, wait a second. I have an elytra now so I can just fly around. Dude, I completely forgot about this. Oh, my anvil just broke. Dang it. Well, good thing I have a load of iron. I literally have like an unlimited supply of iron and everything okay there we go two brand new elytras good to go now guys part of the reason why i would like to have a nice home for these villagers is because i need to get a trading hall going like really badly we don't have a trading hall just yet but it's time to go find a dark oak forest oh there's another village over here i actually have never been over this way well if we need more villagers i guess we can get them from over here Okay, materials gathered. As you guys can see, I've got uh, literally all of the materials that we need for this build. Now we just need to figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Okay, so I do have a little bit of an idea. I think over here would be the best area for the build. And we're going to need to clear a little bit of land, but honestly not too much because I did cut down a lot of trees already. And guys, today we're actually building a castle. So I don't need this land to be completely flat, but I am going to level it just a tad because that way it'll be easier to work with. Okay. Oh guys, and I also really want to light up this land so we don't have any creepers coming up. So let's go do that really quick. This is one of the most important things that I've found in hardcore Minecraft. Make sure that your land is always lit up because creepers are very deadly. Even when you have full diamond armor that's enchanted. If a creeper gets too close, it is game over. Literally. All right, let's get building. This is a very rough look at how these towers are going to look. Obviously, I haven't done the top yet, but I'm going to go with something sort of like this. And I'm going to put fence posts in these little windows here. But for now, I want to get this build sort of outlined. All right, guys, I've actually outlined the build. Okay, I know this looks kind of small, but these towers are going to be very tall and beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and build all of this up and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Ladies and gents, this castle is about 70% completed. Actually looking pretty nice. Okay, but that dirt block is gonna drive me crazy. Let me get that real quick. There we go. Now, since we've made such good progress on the castle, I think we need to start moving in some villager friends. Now, just to let you guys know, I am going to be taking this middle section, making that into a smaller tower that connects to a larger middle tower that goes above all four of these towers. If you're not understanding, I'm sorry, but I will show you soon. This is gonna be actually really, really cool. So the plan is to house all of my villagers in here. 
here. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot of boats for this. Yep, that should do the trick. Uh, let's go get some of these villager friends. All right, we already got some of these guys ready and waiting to go. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. What if he needs to go in this boat? Come on. Okay, sir, was that really necessary? Why are you in here? Oh, I hate villagers sometimes. Okay, there we go. We've got you in a boat. Now, I'm going to leave you in here for a little while while I take this guy down. And we're stuck. Boy, do I have an upgraded home for you. Okay, hopefully he goes to that lectern and uh, this isn't going to be as painful as I think it will. Uh, you're going the wrong way already. Why can't you get out of the water? Come on, buddy. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, and he's here. Now, I just need to board up these walls so that he can't escape. So I'm gonna do this really quick, and then I'll go get his girlfriend. That's back at that village up there. And it's time to start multiplying these villagers. Now, let me make a few more beds. And then we can get back to building. Aha, success! Okay, we're gonna need a lot more villagers than this, so you guys uh, get to work here, okay? That is a beautiful sunset. And by the way, guys, we finished the castle. Hold on, let me go get my elytra so you guys can really see this thing. Why do these guys keep showing up at my base? I don't want your bad trades. Get away. Oh, I forgot that dirt wall there. Just ignore that. But yeah, as you can see, it is pretty insane looking. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. And we do have quite a lot of villagers in there that I want to show you guys. So let's give you guys a little castle tour. So this is the main entrance right here. It is a villager proof entryway. And then we have a little vestibule in here and we come into the main courtyard, which is split up into these four little sections here. And we have these support beams going across and another few rooms that I'm going to turn into trading halls, I think. I actually have a few guys trapped in here that are farmer villagers. You see them? Yeah, these guys all have carrot trades. So I'm gonna get super rich off of them in actually just a few minutes. Now I tried to build a villager breeder, but as you can see, I don't really know what I'm doing. So this was a complete fail and I have to take this down. But yeah, I also have to add some flooring to this room. I didn't do that just yet. And if we come into this main tower, which is the largest tower in the castle, we can actually climb up this tower and be into these like halls up here, which gives a pretty cool view. Honestly, it would be so much fun to do a pillager raid in this castle, but I'm sure most of my villagers would die. And if we come up here, we're in the top of the tower. And I actually want to come out here to show you guys this thing. This took me so many hours. So if you guys do enjoy this castle, please leave me a like. Now I still need to texture up here because I actually forgot to do these two towers. But as you can see, I textured up most of these bricks with cobbled deep slate. And I think that looks so cool. Like I really think it adds a lot of charm to this build. So there we have it, the castle. But we're not done with this video just yet. We still have some work to do today. Now guys, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I want to get mending for my elytra. So you know what that means. We need a mending villager, but we're not going to be able to afford any mending books just yet. So I need to get some emeralds. And the best way I can think of doing that for now is probably with these farmer villagers. So I'm gonna go grab a ton of carrots and I'll be right back. Now by breaking these carrots with my fortune three pickaxe, I am going to get an insane amount of these guys really fast. Holy moly, that is really overpowered. Since we're going to have mending, we're going to need a much better XP farm pretty soon because my tiny little skeleton spawner isn't really gonna cut it. So if you guys know of some really good XP farms, leave them down below in the comments so I can check them out because I could really use help with this one. All right, we're getting a lot of carrots from this. I've actually filled up my inventory already. So there we go. One shulker down, one to go. And I think we have just enough carrots. Now, also the hope with this is that I'm going to get a load of XP because I've been using a lot of it to repair my armor and I combined two efficiency four pickaxes to upgrade the pog axe to efficiency five. Wait a minute, where, where did these guys go? Wait, what? Where did they go? Wait, I'm actually so confused. Confused. Well, I think these are the only two survivors. I have absolutely no idea where all of my villagers went. What the heck? I did not know this could just happen. They literally just vanished. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to break these guys out of prison and let's actually get them to start breeding together. So here you guys go. Here's a ton of carrots. I actually really don't know where my villagers just went. Oh, that is really a bummer. Okay, we're going to recover from this. Don't worry, guys. So I've gotten these guys to both have carrot trades. So I'm going to go through and try 
trade as many carrots as I can to both of these guys. And hopefully we can make a good amount of XP and emeralds. Okay, wow. We actually made a lot more than I thought. 32 emeralds and 16 levels of XP already. Now that is really good. And hello, baby villager. Welcome to your castle, sir. Ah, uh, this is going to be a long day. I can't believe they just disappeared. Where did you guys go? I I'm so confused. Genuinely don't understand what happened there. But we're just going to start fresh. So I actually am probably going to make this baby villager into a librarian villager once he grows up. So do, do you want to come this way, little guy? Yep, you, you sir. Haha, you are trapped. I'm going to get so rich off of these guys. Did they seriously just raise their prices? Why? They literally like doubled their prices. Excuse me, that is rude. But I'm still getting a ton of emeralds from you. So I don't really care that much. But please get me more villagers now. Well, I really just need this little guy to grow up and then we can start getting a mending villager. Oh my God, they raised their price again. That That is a little pricey, don't you guys think? Oh my God, we have a stack and a half of emeralds. Well, guys, we're going to have a mending villager soon. I promise. I still can't believe they're raising their prices on me, but I'm, I'm going to keep buying them anyways. It's whatever, man. Now I could turn these guys into zombie villagers and cure them, but that's just too much work. So instead, I'm just going to overpay for carrots. Now, when these two young whippersnappers grow up, they are going to become librarians and hopefully one of them will be amending. Oh, what? Hey, you guys, you guys aren't supposed to leave. Get back in there. Oh, man, I didn't know that they could get out like that. Well, that is not good. Stay in here. Well, we've got two stacks of emeralds. That is a fantastic start. And while we wait for the villagers to restock and for the other two villagers to grow up, I'm just going to farm more carrots because we really need them. And now we just need to get this guy to be a mending villager. This is going to take a minute. Okay, sir, please give me a mending trade soon. Oh, we got mending. All right, let me just buy one of these. Oh, there we go. And you know what? I'm going to buy a second one because I am really happy. Guys, I am so relieved that we have mending. Now, let me go grab an anvil and we're going to pop this right on the elytra. Now, some other villagers that I want to get for enchants are, of course, Unbreaking 3, Protection, probably Fortune, and Efficiency, of course, and maybe even a Sharpness. I don't know just yet. And let's pop this right on the Elytra. There we go. And my leggings actually have mending on them, but some of my other armor pieces don't. So for my chest plate, I'm going to throw mending on as well. And of course, we're going to continue to grind for those books and get even more mending. But I'm probably going to get the rest of the villagers off camera because I don't think anybody wants to see me argue with some villagers for a few hours. And if you guys made it this far in the video, you're an absolute legend. Guys, wish me luck with these villagers in the comments section because I really need it.